service to your neighbor, very different kind of service. Mm. So, you see, if you have programmed that God is going to operate this way today, you go home discouraged because God has a different plan today. Are we together? Are we together? Amen. Let me start by saying this. You see, three days ago, three days ago, I had a small vision. In that vision, uh, a big light appeared in the sky. And as I was looking at the sky, I saw a multitude of people. You see, a lot of people. Black, white, Indian, color, all races. So I was rushing to the sky and saying, oh, I receive all these, uh, these nations. I receive all these nations. And then a voice said to me, you can only receive these things if you die first. So I was, when, when the voice said, if you die first, I knew the voice was not referring to physical death, but was referring to living, uh, you know, dying to self. So I said, but I'm, I'm already dead. I believe that I'm already dead. I'm a dead person. Then the voice said, yes, you might be a dead person, but you must die more for you to receive this thing. Imagine the voice was telling me that I must die first for me to receive these things, which means, which is a, which is a revelation that for us to receive certain things from God, we must what? Die first. What is to die first? It means to forget everything of the world and focus on Jesus. Are you understanding? That's why Apostle Paul always said we die every day. So the reason, why, the reason why we are not able to grasp many things is because we are worried about a lot of things. You are worried about your, your family. You are worried about a job. You are worried about marriage. You are worried about business. You are worried about all those kind of things. And all those things, they come in chalk what God wants to bless you with. Are you understanding? So I want you where you are standing there to enter a moment of dying. Dying. Kill everything that hinders you to hear from God. Kill everything that hinders you from receiving what God wants you to receive. Kill everything that stops you from manifesting fully what God wants you to manifest. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we die in your presence. This wonderful morning, Lord, have mercy on us. Whatever that is clouding us, what is clouding your atmosphere in this place, that is choking your atmosphere in my heart, that is choking your, the encounter that I'm supposed to have with you in my life as a child of God. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. I can't hear your prayer. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Prayer, 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 prayer. Ask for God's mercy. Ask for God's mercy for Him to cleanse you, to purify you. Confess all your sins. Prayer. Thank you, Thank you. Glorious God, you are worthy. Glorious God, you are awesome. Glorious God, you are mighty. Forgive us of our sins. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. Have mercy on us, Almighty Jesus. Have mercy on us, Lord. Teach us to die to self. Teach us to die whatever that is clouding us. Anything that hinders us from hearing from you, Lord. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Have mercy. 
Forgive us, Lord, for our sins. For we sin knowingly and unknowingly. Oh Lord, oh Lord, my Jesus. Remember us, oh Lord. Have mercy on us, oh Lord. Cleanse us, oh mighty Jesus. Cleanse us, oh Holy Spirit. Creating us a clean heart, oh Lord. Don't let your Holy Spirit depart from us, oh Lord. We die before your presence. Teach us not to be lovers of this world, but to focus on you, Almighty God, and on you alone. Pleasures of the world, lust of the flesh, pride of life, that might hinder us, O oh Lord, to receive more from you. We laid them on the altar today. Separate us, Lord. Consecrate us, Lord. For your special purpose. Special assignment. Thank you, Lord. Prayer. Mercy, Lord. 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 Mercy, Lord, mercy, 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 Abba Father, mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. We repent, Lord, wholeheartedly. We repent, O oh Lord, of the sins of our fathers, the sins of our forefathers, the sins of our leaders. Our sins, Lord, that we commit knowingly and unknowingly. We sin, Lord, in our hearts, in thoughts and in actions. Have mercy on us. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord. Your word says, Come now, let us reason together. Even if your sins are as red as blood, I shall make them as white as snow. Here we are, Lord, in your presence to reason with you. Your word says, You remove the burden. Give us a lighter yoke. Lighter yoke, Lord. Lighter yoke, lighter yoke, Lord. Lighter yoke, Lord. Lighter yoke, Lord. Lighter yoke, Lord. A lighter yoke, Master Jesus. Help us to carry this cross, Lord. Purify us and cleanse us to state, Lord. We cannot do it without your grace. Take over our lives. Take over our careers. Take over our marriages, our finances, our businesses, our ministries. Cleanse us, O Master Jesus. hear your prayer. Whatever we are going to do here can be hindered because of a sin that is not confessed. Open your mouth and confess. Confess the sins of our forefathers. We confess the sins of our fathers. We confess the sins. We 
confess the seeds. David, have mercy on us. Have mercy on the church. Have mercy on nations. Have mercy on this world, Lord. Your mercy, your mercy, Abba Father, your mercy. Jesus name we pray. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Can I please hear a louder amen? In Jesus name we pray. Amen. You may take your seats for a, for a minute. Just take your seats for a minute. But you shall be standing up uh, time and again. Because we are going to be praying today. In Jesus name. How many of you have been following the teaching on altars. How many of you have been following the teaching that we have been putting on line on altars? So today we want to uh, just wrap up a bit on that issue. If you have not watched it, you better go and check it on YouTube and on Facebook so that you understand why we are going to do what we are going to be doing today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please quickly open First Kings chapter 18. Many people are going to be set free today. Amen. Your amen is very weak. Amen. If you are the one who is going to be set free, let me hear your noise. Amen. First Kings. First Kings chapter 18. Verse 17. Can you please put it up for me? First Kings chapter 18. Are you there? If you are there, please shout Amen. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab that Ahab said unto him please give me NIV every time I request a scripture you must put NIV Hallelujah. Let me read from my NIV. Remember I said what we are going to do today is in line with what we have been learning through these past uh, two weeks. It's First Kings chapter 18, verse 17. From verse 17. It says, When he saw Elijah, he said to him, Is that you, you traveler of Israel? I have not met trouble for Israel, Elijah replied, but you and your father's family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commands and have followed the bows. Now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent word throughout Israel and assembled the prophets of, on Mount Carmel 
Elijah went before the people and said, How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is your God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. And the people said nothing. Then Elijah said to them, I am the only one of the Lord's prophets left, but Baal has 450 prophets. Get two bulls for us. Let Baal's prophets choose one for themselves and let them cut it into pieces and put it on the wood, but do not set fire on it. I will prepare the other bull and put it on the wood, but not set fire to it. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord. The God who answers by fire, he is God. Then all the people said, what you say is, is good. Then quickly jump to verse number 30. Then Elijah said to all the people, come here to me. They came to him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been torn down. Elijah took 12 stones, one for each of the tribes descended from Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, With your name shall be Israel. With the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he dug a trench around it, large enough to hold two seers of seed. He arranged the wood, cut the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. Then he said to them, Fill four large jars with water and pour it on the offering and on the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it again third time, he ordered, and they did it the third time. Then water ran down around the altar and even filled the trench. At the time of sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel. Let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me. So these people will know that you, Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil and it also leaked up the water in the trench when all the people saw this they fell prostrate on the ground and cried the Lord he is God the Lord he is God then Elijah commanded them seize the prophets of Baal don't let anyone get away they seized them and Elijah had them brought down to the Kishon Valley and they were all slaughtered there Amen. They were all slaughtered there. Please uh, uh, put that scripture there for reference. They all slaughtered them there. When Elijah, when Elijah was faced with this situation, the nation was under a serious situ uh, trouble because the nation was operating under the altars of Baal. So when Elijah came, the first thing he had to do was to rebuild the altar of God. For the altar of God to speak against the altar of Baal. If you were following me these past two weeks, I'm sure you know, you understand what I'm saying. That many of us here, there are altars that are speaking against our lives. That's why we realize that if we try to do certain things, they never come to pass. Because there's always an altar of the family, if we alter, or any other kind of altar, that will be speaking negatively upon our lives. So in this case, Ahab and Jezebel, they had an altar. They had an altar that was now speaking against the children of Israel. They had forgotten that there is an altar of what? Of God that has been working with them since they came from Egypt. Are you understanding? So what Elijah did here was to rebuild the altar first. The altar of God. Which is what I want us to do today in this service. To rebuild the altar of God in your life. 
so that the altar of God can speak against any other altar that is speaking against you in your life. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for that? Are you sure? Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I want you to pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, in this service, I'm rebuilding my altar, rebuilding the altar of God. For the altar of God to speak for my family, to speak for my country, to speak for my career, to speak for my marriage. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Rebuild the altar. Rebuild the altar. Help me, O oh Lord, to repair my altar. To repair my altar. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear your prayer. We are rebuilding the altar. Rebuilding the altar. Rebuilding the altar. Rebuilding my altar. Rebuild, 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 rebuild. Oh Lord, help me to rebuild my altar. Help me to rebuild the altar of righteousness, the altar of love, the altar of prayer, the altar of giving, the altar of sacrifice, the altar, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord, to rebuild the altar. Help me to rebuild the altar. To rebuild the altar. Prayer, I can't hear your prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Be serious as you are rebuilding the altar. Almighty God, 
Help me to restore. Help me to rebuild. Help me to reconstruct the altar of my finances, the altar of my family, the altar of my mother's house. It shall be broken today as I rebuild the altar of God in my life. Let the altar of God speak. Speak in my life. Speak for my career. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just uh, this was that uh, their altars are breaking and everything. You just leave them here. Pray for your own lives. Don't usher anyone. If someone just moves there, you just bring them to the front. Focus on your own life because I don't want you to be an usher. You live here with the same problem while you are busy attending to people who are dealing with their problems. So today. Just leave them. You put them in the front. You go and pray. When the altar was repaired, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says the fire of God came down and consumed everything. I want you to pray, oh, fire of God, come down in this service. Consume everything that is troubling my life. Consume everything that is troubling my health, my business, my career, my finances. Prayer, 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 prayer. Fire of God, fire of God. Fire of God, consume. Fire of God, consume. In the name of Jesus, prayer, 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 prayer. Rapata sakatabayante. Prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Consume, Lord, consume, Lord. You are consuming in this service. You are consuming, Lord. You are consuming the altars of power in my career. The altars of power in my family. The altars of power. Oh, Sakata. The fire of God, you are consuming. 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 Consume, consume. The Lord is a consuming fire. Consume, oh Lord. Consume, 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 consume. consume. Oh, fire of God, consume. Consume, Lord, consume, Lord. Consume, Lord, consume, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for consuming everything that is not of God. Second, sorry, Judges chapter 6, verse 11. Please meet here with scriptures, be fast. Don't sit down. Judges chapter 6, verse 11. And there came an angel of the Lord. Are we all there on Judges 6? You should be writing these things down. They will help you after this service. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in Oprah that pertained unto Joash the Abiezrite and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. Verse 11. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with you, mighty man of valor. The Lord is with you, mighty man 
of valor. This is the angel speaking to Gideon. He's addressing Gideon as a mighty man of valor. Let's hear what the scripture says, verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why are we, why then is all this befallen us? And where are all the miracles which our fathers told us of, saying that the Lord did, the Lord bring us from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Verse 14. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in your might. Go in your own might. And you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. If I not sent you. And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, how shall I save this, this Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in your sight, show me a sign that you are the one who is talking to me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto you and bring forth my sacrifice. Why are you guys not putting NIV? You don't have NIV anymore. Any other simpler version? So that I want people to understand what I'm reading here. KJV is difficult. Okay. Bring forth my, NIV says, my sacrifice and set it before you. And he said, I will wait until you come again. This is the angel saying to Gideon, I will wait for you. Because after the word had been pronounced, Gideon said, wait for me. I want to bring you a present or a sacrifice. Verse 19. And Gideon went in and made ready a small goat and unleavened bread. The flesh he put in a basket and he put the bread in a, in a pot and brought it out into under the oak and he presented it to the angel. And the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened bread and lay them upon this rock and pour out the oil or the bread. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand and touched the sacrifice or the flesh and the unleavened bread. And there rose up a fire out of it and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. And when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto you. Fear not, you shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day, it is yet an opera of the Abaziarites. Did you listen to that? Then Gideon did what? Built an altar there unto the Lord. There was an altar that Gideon's father had raised before. That even when God was speaking to Gideon to say, you are a mighty man. But because of the altar that had been built in the past, Gideon did not believe that he was a mighty man. There are many of us who are designed to be mighty men of valor. In God's eyes, you are great people. But because of the altar that is speaking in your family, you see yourself as nothing. If you go back to the scripture, you see the excuses that Gideon gave. He said, I am poor. I'm coming from a small family. It was not because he is the one who is speaking that, but the altar behind was the one speaking that. Only until he built a new altar, that's when he managed to defeat the enemies. Are you understanding this? Only when he built a what? A new altar. That's when he managed to destroy the altar that his father had built. 
I want you to pray. That God helps you to break every altar that is standing between you and your divine purpose. Gideon's divine purpose was to deliver the Israelites, was to conquer the enemy. He was a mighty man of Allah, but he could not do that because there was another altar that was not of God speaking upon his life. So I don't know any other altar that is standing between you and your divine purpose that each time you are about to enter a new level, that altar keeps bringing you back to the past. You open your mouth and break every altar that is standing between you and your divine purpose. In Jesus' name, prayer. Every altar in the name of Jesus that is standing before me, before me, before me and my breakthrough, before me and my purpose, before me and my assignments, be broken, be broken. I shall help them. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken. All of them here. Not them. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Every altar standing against me. Every altar standing against my wife. Every altar standing against my children. Every altar standing against my siblings that is stopping us from getting to the next level. Let it be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. That altar is broken. That altar of limitation. That altar of limitation. That altar of limitation. Be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. It is being broken. It is 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 broken. Command it to be 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 broken. Command it out. Command it out. Command it out. Command it now, command it now, command it now, command it now, command it now. I command every altar to be broken, 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 to be broken. Thank you, Lord. To be broken. Jesus. That altar is broken in the name of Jesus. That altar 
that is standing before me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Kings chapter 12, verse 25. First Kings chapter 12, verse 25. Then Jeroboam built Shechem in Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein and went out from thence and built Penuel. And Jeroboam sold in his heart, said in his heart, Now shall the kingdom return to the house of David if these people go out to do sacrifice in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem then shall the heart of these people turn again into the in, unto their Lord even unto Rehoboam king of Judah and they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam king of Judah whereupon the king took counsel and met two calves of gold and said unto them it is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And he set the one in Bethel, and the other put he in Dan. And this thing became a sin. This is Jeroboam. He put it, uh, took uh, two bulls here and sacrificed here because he was afraid that the people will turn against him. And this thing became a sin. For the people went to worship before the one, even unto Dan. He made people to worship on another altar. Verse 31. And he made a house of high places and made priests of the lowest of the people, which were not of the sons of Levi. And Jeroboam ordained a feast in the eighth month, and on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in the Judah, and he offered upon the altar. So did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the cows that he had met. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had met. So he offered upon the altar which he had met in Bethel. The fifteenth day of the eighth month, verse number 30, uh, next verse. He offered upon that altar burnt incense. Is it the last one there? Go to chapter three, uh, 13. Chapter 13, verse 1. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroboam stood by that altar that he had built to burn incense. Let's hear what the man of, the go of, uh, of God said. And the man of God cried against that altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thus says the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burned upon thee. Next verse. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent or shall be torn apart, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass when the king Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, which he had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Seize him or catch him, or lay hold on him. And his hand which he had put forth against the man of God dried up so that he could not pull it in again to him. The, also, the altar also was torn apart and the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. And the king answered and said unto the man of God, in, entreat now the face of the Lord thy God and pray for me 
that my hand may be restored again. And the man of God besought the Lord, and the king's hand was restored again and became as it was before. I prophesy to everyone in this place today, every altar that is speaking against you, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Many of you, when we are doing this, you are not understanding what an altar can do. If you look at your life today, you will find that there are certain things that happen to everyone in your family. There are certain things that follow your bloodline. Even if you are born again, even if you are a pastor, there are things that still follow you if you don't deal with them. Am I speaking? Being born again is not a passport that the altars of witchcraft or wickedness, they break immediately. That's why you find that you enter a relationship and it, it doesn't last two months. You enter a new one, two months. You enter a new one, two months. You get a new job. You go out the same way as you entered. All the jobs. It's high time for you to sit down and check what is speaking against me. Don't wait for, don't wait for the pastor to lay hands on you. Sometimes you need to deal with it on your own. That's why we are praying these prayers. To deal with it on your own. Am I speaking to someone? I want you to pray. When you pray, be serious. Do you know why? Do you know why you should be serious? Because if you, don't be, if you don't become serious now, the same things that have been happening in the past, they will be passed on to your children. Are you seeing this? They will be passed on to your what? To your children. Yesterday when we were at home here, I was telling the family that, do you know in my family, no one ever owned a car. No one. From great-grandfather to grandfather, grandfather to my father. I was telling them, I'm the first person in my family. All these generations, first person to have a car. Number one. First person to have a wedding. No one, even my parents did not wed. No one. First person. Am I speaking to someone? I'm just giving you examples. First person. Why? Because there was an altar in the family that was speaking against everyone who was born in that family. The, the altar is speaking against the blood. Are you seeing? So it took me to say, no, enough is enough. I need to break this so that it does not continue to my children. Am I speaking? Another thing. Perhaps in your family, the altar is against marriages, for example. The altar is against marriages, for example. The devil is very crafty. The devil will give you a good job. You get a lot of money. You get a lot of cars, lots of houses, lots of everything. But that area, that area of marriage, if you don't deal with it, are you understanding? It's an example. Amen. So many people, they relax. They just say, ah, I'm having money. I'm having a job. Salary is going to come. But if you don't address that altar of the marriage, you'll find that now when you want to enter marriage, that's when you start facing difficulties. Now you come back to the service. You remember this service that I thought I was wise when I thought that I had everything around me. But now, now, now I think I need a new altar of God. You are going to pray. Every altar. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Every altar that wants to divert my glory. You are Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every prayer, every altar. 
that wants to divert my glory. You are high and lifted up. Every altar that wants to divert my glory. That wants to divert my glory. Prayer, 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 prayer. Santo Kapaya Katelaba. Iko Pasaka Taya Bahare. You cannot divert my glory. You cannot divert my family's glory. You cannot divert my ministry glory. You cannot divert my financial glory. Oh altar. I speak against you. Oh altar. I speak against you. Like the men of God from Judah spoke against the altar. Altar, altar. I speak against you. Altar, altar, altar be broken. Altar, altar, I speak against you. Altar, altar, I speak against you. Altar, altar, I speak against you. 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 Altar against my family. Altar against my business. Altar against my marriage. Altar against my finances. Altar against my health. I speak against you. 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 In the name of Jesus, prayer, prayer, prayer. I speak against you. Speak against you. Speak against you. I'll speak against you. I speak against you. Be broken. I speak against you. You altar, altar. I speak against you. Oh, he altar. Oh, he altar. Oh, he altar. I speak against you. I speak against you. I speak against you. I speak against you. name we pray. Amen. Can I hear a loud amen? Amen. We are dealing with matters of destiny. Today, we are dealing with matters of destiny. If I were you, if, if I were you, I, I won't deal, I, I won't deal with my matter while I'm just standing like this. I should be moving around here dealing with my matter. Dealing with my matter. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. First Samuel chapter 5. Thou power of God. Thank you. First Samuel chapter 5. And the Philistines took the ark of God, God forbid, and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it. Please. Uh, when the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they had 
excuse me. And when they of Ashdod arose early on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. And when they had rose early on the you are repeating the same verse. Behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Philistines took the ark of God, captured the ark. Because the people had fallen into sin and they had forgotten their God. So now when they went into battle, the enemy captured the ark. The ark simply was a symbol of the presence of God. So which means the enemy took their altar, took their power, took their fire. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. And when they took that altar, they placed it next to their own God. And the Bible said when they woke up in the morning, their own God had fallen down. Are you, are you getting this? Yes. When you raise an altar, any other altar that has been standing against you will fall down before the altar of God. Yes, sir. Will fall down before the altar yes, of God. Sir. Will fall down before the altar of God. Yes, sir. Will fall down before the altar of God. Yes, sir. You are going to pray. Oh God. The altar that I'm going to raise today. In this house. Let it defeat all the altars against me. Yes, sir. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Yahweh. Every altar. Every altar. Every altar. Yahweh. Every altar is going to be defeated today. The altar that I'm going to raise in this place is going to defeat all the altars, all the altars. All the altars. Prayer, 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 prayer. All the altars. All the people that are outside there, enter inside. Enter inside, enter and pray inside. Close, close the outside doors. Close all the outside doors. All of you guys pray inside. Prayer, 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 prayer. I don't want anyone to go back home the same. The altar that we are going to raise in this place today is going to speak against every other altar. Ayakata la basante kapaya. It's going to speak against every other. Red to satata kapaya. I'm going to rest today. Iparuku tu eketa kaya. Prayer, 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 prayer. Ziputu atakata yaka. Leto tata ta asakata. Prayer, 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 prayer. Every other altar. All the altar I'm going to rest today. It's going to speak against any raise other Raise that altar. altar. Raise that I'll altar. Raise declare. Altar. Declare with your own mouth. speak against any other altar. I raise an altar. That will stand against the altar that is fighting my life. I raise an altar. That is going to stand against the altar that is fighting my finances. I raise an altar today. In this place. That is going to stand In Jesus altar. name we pray. Amen. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. Leviticus 6 chapter 12. Very fast. Leviticus 6 chapter 12. Leviticus 6 12. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it and it shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lay the burnt offering in order upon it and he shall burn there on the fat of the peace offerings 
and the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Did you hear that? The fire shall be what? Shall be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. The reason why you find that you pray this prayer and after you pray this prayer, when you go back, you still encounter the same problems is because along the way, your fire went down. Am I speaking to somebody? So the fire must always be what? Be burning continuously. Continue. <laughs> Verse number 14. And this is the law of the meat offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, therefore before the altar. Verse number 15. And he shall take of it the handful of the flour of the meat offering and all the oil thereof and all the frankincense which is upon the meat offering. And he shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor, even the memorial of it unto the Lord. And the remainder thereof shall Aaron and his sons eat with unleavened bread, shall be eaten in the holy place and in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. They shall eat of it. It shall not be bacon with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy as is the sin offering and as the trespass offering. Verse 18. Verse 19. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, this is the offering of Aaron and of the sons which they shall offer unto the Lord. Thank you. The fire must not what? Go out. The fire must not what? Must not go out. I want you to pray a prayer. Oh Lord. Remember the Bible says our God is a what? Consuming fire. So which means God is the fire that must keep on burning on the altar of your heart. For that altar, that evil altar that speaks against you to not keep on speaking against you, there must be the presence of God always. Let me tell you a testimony before we pray. There was deliverance happening somewhere. And a young man of God wanted to deliver another sister and that demon said man of god wait before you touch me let me call the marine kingdom first where i'm from and that demon said hello marine kingdom over over shh, shh. one two it's demon so 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 speaking and then they answered and said yes carry on he said, please check for me in the records of Prophet Fazai. Is he able to deliver me? They checked the records. They said, no, he's not that one. He's a fornicator. He's an adulterer. He's a thief. He's stealing money. He's doing all those kinds of things. I just put my name so that you understand. And then the demon said, okay, it's fine. Then the demon pointed to the pastor and said, you don't have any power to cast me out of this body. Why? Because of your lifestyle. So which means you and me, we are, we are in the same kingdom. Can a kingdom divided against itself uh, prosper? Are you hearing me? So what stopped the deliverance was the lifestyle of the person who is trying to deliver. So when you are dealing even with altars like this, you must make sure that there is no crack that the enemy can penetrate to bring you back. Are you understanding? Yes, the Bible says we all fall, we have all fallen off the glory of God. We have all fallen short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. But I'm talking about habitual sin. You know habitual sin. Where you keep on doing it, yet you know that what I'm doing here is wrong, but you keep on doing it. Then there's sin that does not lead to death. That you sin here, but you realize that I'm sinning. You quickly go before the Lord. You pray. Remember, the devil is the accuser of brethren. So when, when you are crying before the Lord, Oh Lord, bless me with a car. 
bless me with a job. The devil will be saying, oh Lord, you want to bless this one who was stealing yesterday? He's an accuser of what? Brethren. So that's why always you must die every day. Die every day. And rebuild a what? A new altar. The fire must keep on what? Burning. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, let your fire keep burning on my altar. If there's any other powerful prayer point in this world, is this prayer point. Because if the fire of God is not on your altar, you are in trouble. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, my God, my Father, let your fire, let your fire, Lord, let your fire, let your fire keep burning on my altar. Let your fire keep burning on my altar. Give me, Lord, an appetite of prayer, fasting, studying the word, living a righteous life. Let your fire continue to burn in my heart. Let your fire continue to burn. Continue to burn in my career. Continue to burn in my ministry. Continue to burn in my family. Your fire, Lord. Your fire, Lord. Your fire of righteousness. Your fire of holiness. Your fire of uprightness. Prayer. Fire, 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 fire. Fire of the Lord. 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 Fire, fire, fire of the Lord. Continue to burn. Continue to burn on my altar. 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 The altar of my life. Fire of Continue to burn on my altar. 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 Continue to burn. Continue to burn. Continue to burn on my altar. Oh, fire of God. Continue to burn on my altar. Continue. 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 Continue to burn. Continue to burn all night on my altar. Oh, fire of God. Oh, fire of God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, you know what happens. You know what happens. When you are coming from a prayer service like this, you'll be revived, restored, transformed in the mind. And you'll find that you are having a lot of fire. But come Monday, Tuesday, you'll find that you are discouraged again. You are going down again. And you are going back to level zero. Are you understanding? Remember the Bible says, our Lord Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and when? Forever. Which means Jesus is consistent. He does not go down and go up again. Tomorrow he is in the spirit. Tomorrow when he wants to pray, he's saying my spirit is down, he needs to be cranked. So that he comes back in the spirit again. I always laugh that when I hear a person say, I want to enter the spirit. I ask them, where were you? That you now you want to enter in the spirit. So which means there are times you come out of the spirit. And then you enter in the spirit. You come out again during the week. You enter Saturday before service. So I want you to pray. God, give me the spirit of consistency. So that what I do, I keep on what? doing it doing it. If it's prayer, if I say I pray one hour, I must keep on praying one hour. Not to say one hour, but when it's towards month end, when you don't have money of rent, you are now complaining. You are back on five minutes. Are you understanding me? Amen. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, give me a spirit of consistency. 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 I want to be the same. 
yesterday, today, and forever. Consistency in prayer, consistency in fasting, consistency in giving, consistency in studying, consistency in serving, consistency in preaching, consistency in ministry, consistency in every aspect of my life, consistency in my purpose, in my career, in my assignment, consistency, 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 consistency. Consistency. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. If you feel tired, you can sit, but don't close your mouth. Remember, when Jesus went to pray with his disciples, the Bible says he left them in the garden, and he went to the other side to pray. And when he finished praying, he came back to them, and the Bible says he found them sleeping, and he asked them a question. Were you not able to stay with me? For at least an hour. You know the scripture? For at least. So which means the structure of prayer for Christ, of prayer, of a praying disciple was to at least stay for what? One hour. For what? For one hour. Could you not at least, at least at least means it's minimum one hour. So even if you are staying, standing here now, even when you're at home, if you find yourself praying less than one hour, you are praying below standard. <laughs> we are praying below standard. And he cometh unto the disciples and find them sleeping or asleep. And he said unto Peter, what he was even surprised, Jesus. What? Could you not watch with me one hour? One, NIV and other version says, at least one hour. To say, disciples, you are telling me you are tired because of one hour. But you can watch a movie or Netflix for two and a half hours and you don't sleep. Can I give you a secret? That I, a covenant that I had. I used to be do you know a club hopper? Have you ever heard of a club hopper? We start clubbing at 8 o'clock. We enter first club. We see that there's no fire here. We drive to another club. By the time we get to 4 o'clock, we have entered 7 clubs. And I would never sleep. I would never sleep from 8 until 4 p.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. And now you come to all night prayer in the house of God. Before 12 midnight, you are doing like this. I told myself, I said, if I was not sleeping for the devil, why would I sleep for God? If I was staying up at night, the whole night, for the devil, why should I sleep when I'm in the house of God? If I was not getting tired, dancing to all those songs throughout the night, why should I not dance in the house of God? Why should I get tired when it's time of dancing? Are you, you see some of us here when we were still in the world, they used to know you that you are uh, Majaivan. Everyone knew you, everyone. But in the house of God, uh, you can't even dance for the maker. You can't even dance for your deliverer. You just be, what will people say? What were people saying when you were still in the world? Am I speaking to somebody? I want you to pray these following prayers after me. We'll finish very soon. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. Are you still in the atmosphere of prayer? Amen. Remember, I told you that today's service is not the same as your usual service. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. We are going to address different kinds 
of altars that speak against our lives. And I ask you to be what? Very serious. This is, this is not a matter of the church. It's a matter of your personal life. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. In the name of Jesus. I want you to raise your voice and pray after me. And say, altars from my father's house. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Wait. Do you know why I'm giving you these ones? Because <laughs> you see me as I'm standing here. I'm, I'm Mr. Stoyle. Right? From the Stoyle family, there are certain altars that are in my family. And then I got married to the Mutika family. In the Mudika family, there are altars of the Mudika family. If we don't deal with these altars, when we give birth to our child, the child is having double portion of altars from the Mudika family and the Stole family. Are you seeing? So if we don't deal with the altars, the one who is going to be in serious trouble is the young one. So when you are dealing with Altars, you are dealing with fathers. That's why you see that you are have some you are having some traits of things that happen in your father's family, and there are things that happen in your there are also I'll teach you as time goes on. There are also altars of marriage. You just marry in one family and you are in trouble. Huh? You find that you your things were fine, but then you enter danger zone by reason of marriage. Altars from my father's house. Altars from my father's house. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the Open name your mouth and begin to bro break them. You I know them by you. name. You Altars know them. My father's house. Your name Altar of poverty. Yahweh. Altar of sickness. Altar of, sickness. Altar of untimely death. Altar of in your death. father's house. Prayer, 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 prayer. prayer. Yeah. Be, broken. Be, broken. Be, broken. Be 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 broken. Yeah. Altars in my father's house that are stopping me from moving forward. Break them, break them, break them, break them. 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 Your name is Prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Broken. Let me hear your prayer. Be Let broken. me hear your prayer. Be broken. Break those altars, altars from, my from my father's house. Altars from my father's Command house. them out. Command them out. Command them now. Command them now. Command them out of your family. Command them to be broken. I command you out. Command them to be broken. I command you to be broken. Altars from my father's house. I command you to be broken. I command you to be broken. In Jesus' broken. name we pray. Amen. Say altars from my mother's house. Altars from my mother's house. Sisters only. Altars from my mother's house. Altars from my mother's house. I cannot hear you. Altars from my mother's house. Altars from my mother's house. Men only. Altars from my mother's house. 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 Together. Altars from my mother's house. Altars from my mother's house. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Prayer, 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 prayer. Be broken. Be broken. Sitte kataka pakata kata. Rataka pakata kata kata. Altars from my mother's house be broken. Command them to be broken. Command them to be broken. I can't hear your prayer. I can't hear your prayer. Command them to be broken. I am calling to the power at work in me. Let mountains burn. In Jesus' name we pray. I can't hear your amen. Please get some microphones and pray with me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say altars from my place of birth. Altars from my place of birth. <laughs> you know, where I come from, when a child is born, 
they, they cut uh, that cord, the umbilical cord. And back then, the grand grandmothers, what they would say, hey, give us this, this thing. You know the thing I'm talking about? Uh, that you, you guys, you put a peg here. So when it falls, the grandmothers, they'll take the thing and say, it's our culture in our family. We take it so that we introduce the child in the, in the home. Yet they were taking those things to an altar. So they place all those things in the altar. And they are speaking that in this family, no one does one, two, three. No one goes way, 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 way. No one does this, 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 this. Am I speaking to someone? Amen. So it is only when you deal with that altar for you to be restored back to your former glory. You, you will see that after, after this service, you see that some of you, God will reveal things to you in the dream. You will know. You will see that, ah, this is what, what was happening to me. This was what happened to me. Even here in the service, you will see. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. You are going to pray. Altars from my place of birth. Altars from my place of death. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let mountains fall. Begin to pray. Let me be broken. Every altar be broken. I am calling. Begin to pray. Begin to break them. 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 I am calling the name of Jesus. I am calling the name of Jesus. Begin to break them. Let mountains bow. Begin to break them. Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just prayer only. Prayer only. Uh, don't sing. Pray. Amen. Altars of the marketplace. Altars of the marketplace. <laughs> uh, do you know what are altars of the marketplace? It's altars that hinder you from progressing when we are talking about business. You get, you, your voice does not count when it comes to things of the market. When it comes to things of finances, your voice can never be heard. You are going to deal with them. Altars of the marketplace. Altars of the marketplace. Remember, I told you that God revealed to me that this year, we must use our what? Our hands. You must invest in using your hands. Yes, even if you are going to work, do something on the side. Use your hands to buy and sell. Use your hands to, to, to farm. Whatever it might be. Make sure you use your what? Your hands. You are going to pray. Altars of the marketplace. Altars of the marketplace. That speak against my life. That speak against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Prayer. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Sitte kataka pakata. Sitte takata kapaka. Catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire, 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 catch fire, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say altar of poverty. Altar of poverty. In my family. In my family. Be broken. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know that poverty does not start from you not having money? Poverty is a spirit. 
it starts in the spirit, it comes to the minds. That's why you that's why you see that when you pass through a certain place and you see something on the glassy, you see a nice thing that you want. The spirit of poverty tells you that you cannot afford it. So you, you are helping the, the out of poverty. Then you say, hey, it's expensive. It's not for us. So it's programming in you that you, you are not in this league. For people who know me very well, people who know me very well, if I boil with anger in my heart, when I say, you know, I, I want to do something, and someone asks me, how much is that thing? Then I say, maybe it's 150,000, for example. And the person just says, hey, it's too expensive. I boil with anger that this person is fighting what I'm seeing. It's because this person maybe is operating under their own spirit. But I'm not part of that own spirit. But if that spirit, I, if I allow it to enter my ear, it will end up speaking against me. Are you understanding? So if I say I want something... I don't know how the money will come. I want it. Isn't it the Bible says God is the owner of all silver and gold? So if my father is the owner of all silver and gold, why should I panic when I see three zeros? Amen. Are you understanding? Amen. So that mindset, that mindset is the one you must deal with in this service. Amen. To say you altar that speaks in my ear that this is not my class. Am I speaking to someone? Amen. You open your mouth and pray. You altar of poverty. You altar of poverty. You altar of poverty. You altar of poverty. In my life. In my life. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Prayer. Altar of poverty. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am prosperous. I am a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar people. I am assigned to prosper. I am born to be rich. To be wealthy. To be prosperous. You poverty spirit. Poverty altar. I am not your candidate. I am not your candidate. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say you altar of death. You altar of death. You see, when the altar of death requires a sacrifice, you, you just get sick from a disease that is not even there. Or when a, a, a disease like COVID just comes like this, it takes you away. Because the altar is calling for what? For a sacrifice. Remember, I told you what the scripture says, that when God created man, he said, the man shall live for 120 years. And then when men sinned against God, he said, my spirit shall not dwell with this person. Therefore, you shall stay for how many years? Seventy. I thought you were already going to put the scripture. Some of you don't know the scripture. How many years? Seventy. So, any death, any death that may come before the year seventy, I personally, I personally, I don't know you, I personally will label it as untimely death. It's an untimely death. Because the scripture is telling me that I must live at, at least seven. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with men, for that he is also flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty. That was God's initial plan on creation. 
Then when people sinned, after the issue of Noah, he said, servant, you are going to pray. O oh, altar of death. O oh, altar, altar of death. That is calling my name. That, that is calling, calling my, my name. name. Death is not death of your life only. Financial death, marital death, spiritual death, any kind of death. That's why you always dream falling in a pit. That's why you always dream your casket, your coffin. Spirit of death. That's why you're always seeing dead people coming after you, chasing you. You will pray. You altar of death. You altar of death. In my life. In my life. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. You altar of death. In my life. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Break it. Altar of death in my life. Break it. I break you. I break you. I break it. I break it. I break it. Break it. I break it. Break it. I break it. I break it. Break it. I break it. Break it. I 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 break it. Break it. I break it. You are the object. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say altar of witchcraft. Altar of witchcraft. In my life. In my life. I am not your candidate. I am not your candidate. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 And everyone in this place that is under the influence of witchcraft, I command you to be set free. 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 Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Go on and on fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord of Jesus. You are of witchcraft. I am not your party of Jesus. You are the of I am not your party of witchcraft. You are the of witchcraft. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, altar of the marine. Altar of the marine. In my life, in my life, or pursuing me, or pursuing, or monitoring me, or monitoring me. In the name of Jesus Christ, catch fire, 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 now out of money, pursuing me. Monitoring me, just the name of Jesus. the name of Jesus. Just the name of Jesus. me, me, Monitoring my life. Just try the name of Jesus. Just try the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Say altars. Altars of the occultic. Of the occultic. Speaking against my life. Speaking against my life. Break. 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 Break, 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 break. Break them, break them, break them, break them. Break them in the name of Jesus. Break them in the name of Jesus. Sante Kapaka Yadabaha. Break them in the name of Jesus. Break them in the name of Jesus. You altars of the Ocouts. Speaking against my life. Speaking against my family. Speaking against my family, I am not your candidate. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can I hear a louder amen? Amen. 
altars of false prophets. Altars of false prophets. Listen. Listen. Do you know that there are people who go to certain, let me say a cult, for example. And the cult is led by a false prophet. And when you leave that place, are you? Let's say you come to this church and you leave this place and then I stand on the altar and I pronounce a curse that you see you have left this church. Are you hearing? You have left, left this church. You are going to face one, two, three, four, five. Then you will find that everywhere where you are going, it's like that thing, that word that was spoken is following you. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. So, which literally means that there's an altar that is there. And the altar is having those words that have been spoken. And that altar is following you because it's not an altar of God. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. So, you'll find that wherever you are, whatever you're trying to do, that altar keeps on what? Speaking against you. So, if you don't stand up and speak against it, you always see the results. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. Say, you altar of false prophets. You altar of false, false prophets. prophets. Speaking against my life. Speaking, speaking against, against my, my life. life. <laughs> when, I say, when, I say, when I say false prophets, yes, there might be some that wear a suit. And there might be other prophets from somewhere else. And many of us or our families have once went there to consult on one or two things. Am I speaking? Yes. They gave you some things to drink, some things to eat, some things to put in the house. So once you do that, you are being dedicated to their altar. So now, as you are walking, <laughs> uh, yes, you know what God will be revealing to me. Here. As you are walking every day, when they see you, Although maybe you might claim that I ah, know I'm a born again, I go to this church. There will still be a mark on you that can show them that this is one of us. This is one of us. This is one of us. Because your name will still be appearing. When they call out to their gods, you are still appearing on their altar. Am I speaking to someone? Yes. You are going to destroy that altar in the name of Jesus. Amen. And anything that has been taken from you and placed on that altar who catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Who catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I'm talking about your photographs. I'm talking about your undergarments. You see, you, you, you do laundry. You put your undergarments on the line. When you come back, you find that one is missing and it has been taken somewhere. I myself, personally, I met some, uh, someone some time ago. And I took money from my pocket and I blessed the person. I said, God bless you. Buy yourself a cold drink. And immediately after I gave that person money, a week later, I, I fell into serious trouble. Serious trouble. That I even got arrested sometime back. Serious trouble. So later on after that, I was praying about it now. Then God showed me a revelation that when I blessed that person with that money to buy a drink, that person took that man to their altar and they spoke against me and it manifested in my life. Am I speaking? So, I'm not saying don't give people money. But if you want to do that, you must make sure that you are having a strong altar Amen. that will speak for you in the event that you are giving someone. So all those altars, they will keep on speaking against you if you don't deal with them. Are you ready to break it? Yeah. Are you ready to break it? Yes, sir. Are you ready to break it? Yes, sir. Are you ready to break it? Yes. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare that you altars of false prophets. You altars of false prophets. Speaking against my life. Speaking against my life. Speaking against my family. Speaking against my, speaking against my marriage. Speaking against my, speaking against my business. Speaking against my ministry. Speaking against my calling. Speaking against my workplace. Speaking against my health. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are just a force. Standing against.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say altars, altars. that are raised that are to paralyze my greatness. To paralyze my greatness. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Prayer, 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 prayer. Sente kapaka yadabaha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say you altar. You altar. Fighting against my calling. Fighting against my calling. You altar, you altar, fighting against my calling, fighting against my in this service, in this service. Right, now, right now, wherever you are, wherever you are, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, command it, command it to catch fire, 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 command it to catch fire. Command you to catch fire. Sata kata kata. See, take it, take it, take it. Command you to catch fire. Command it to catch fire. Wherever you are. I command you to catch fire. Wherever you are. I command you to catch fire. 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 You command it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to call out your name loud and clear. I want you to call out your name. You say, I, Fadzai, this year, 2021, you will enter into greatness. Yes, sir. You are going to prophesy to your life. I saw, so, so, and so. Because even when they are speaking also on your altar, they mention your name. Yes. Sir. They mention your name. Mention your full name. Not your Facebook name. Your full name. Government issued. Are we together? I so, 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 and so. In this year, 2021, I'm entering into a season of greatness. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Yes, sir. One, two, three. I all I enter into greatness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Mention the area you are entering into greatness. Greatness in ministry. Greatness in business. Greatness at my workplace. Greatness in my calling. I'm entering into greatness. I'm entering into greatness. I'm entering into greatness. I'm entering into greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up your hands wherever you're standing. Thank you, Lord. Thou power of God in this place. Destroy every altar in the lives of each and everyone in this place. 
as you have commanded me today to stand before this altar so shall it be all altars in your life be broken in the name of Jesus be broken in the name of Jesus be broken in the name of Jesus Amen. wherever you are standing I stand here as a servant of God to declare your freedom 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 if there is anyone in this place who is still connected to any evil altar see takapaka tekapaya help them ashes say takita pakayadabaha be set free in the name of Jesus. I pull you out wherever you are. I pull you out from that bondage. I pull you out in the name of Jesus. From that connection with that altar, I pull you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. That altar of limitation. From today, from today, you shall experience peace, Amen. promotion, Amen. promotion, Amen. elevation, Amen. breakthrough, Amen. breakthrough, Amen. breakthrough, Amen. breakthrough, Amen. breakthrough. Amen. breakthrough. Amen. Wherever you are standing, I want you to take a, a sacrifice. Any sacrifice you have wherever you are standing. I want you to lift up your, your sacrifice. I mean a special offering. And hold it in your right hand. If you want an envelope, if you want an envelope, do you have envelopes, Ashes? If you want an, uh, an envelope, raise up your hand higher. They'll give you an envelope. On that envelope, don't put, don't put your offering in that envelope. I want you to put a special sacrifice for your altar, not an offering. Offering you just put here in the front. But if God has touched your heart to give a special offering for your altar, then you raise an, um, your hand. They'll give you an envelope. I repeat, please don't put your normal Sunday offering in the envelope are you ready raise it up higher your offering in your right hand if you are holding an offering here and you are holding a your altar offering here raise both hands i want to pray with you father in the name of jesus as they are raising their sacrifice For the altars that they have raised in this place. Let the altar of God in this house. Speak for them. Speak for them. Speak for them. 
Speak for them. As they come to the front to drop their offering, may you connect them with the altar of breakthrough that you have erected in this place. Let them also experience breakthrough in every areas of their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy their altars shall never lack. Their families shall never lack. Their coffers shall never lack. Your coffers shall always be filled with plenty. Run to the front quickly and tap with the anointing on the altar in Jesus' name. Just run and touch. Run and touch. Ashes help them run and touch. And quickly remove it. Quickly remove it. Finance team, admin, quickly remove it. Help her, help her, ushers. Help her, help her. Here in the front, all of us in Jesus' name, raise up your hands one last time. Thank you, Father, for your people. name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your people. I release an anointing for this year. I believe this is my first time to stand on the altar this year. I release an anointing for this year. A special anointing. Special anointing for everyone that is in this place. Wherever they are standing, I speak new fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Even if the world declares that there shall be a pulling down, I declare for you, there shall be a lifting up in your life. Amen. There shall be a lifting up for you. Amen. There shall be a lifting up for you. Amen. In Jesus' name.